in this uh, what we are going to say is how to implement the stack uh, technique that is lifos uh, structure using the linked list so before that let us just briefly see what is a stack a stack allows all data operations at one end only which means uh, let us imagine uh, a stack of tray a stack of coins a stack of uh, dresses a stack of books now if i am going to add some uh, another tray here means i have to add only at the top i cannot add the top or insert in between i cannot add at the bottom i have to always add at the top same way if i am going to add shirt on this a stack of folded shirts mm -hmm. i cannot insert it in the middle i have to add it only at the top so similarly in books i cannot insert it in the middle so if i am going to remove anything then i cannot remove it from the middle or from the bottom i have to remove the if i am going to remove this post this tray then i have to remove the one which is placed on top of root all the trays i have to remove in order to remove that particular tray likewise if i am going to remove this blue uh, book then i have to remove the top here this i have to remove this i have to remove this i have to remove then this then i reach this now i can remove this so in this way only so using uh, from the top only i can remove as well as i can add and addition is said to be pushing insertion in a stack is said to be push and removal is said to be pop operation this is what we have seen so far now already we have seen in our previous video how to uh, implement it stack structure using arrays already we have seen in this what we are going to say is how to implement the stack technique using linked list so all of uh, you know a singly linked list consists of a uh, node it is made up of many nodes connected so it is called a link and each node consists of two fields one is the data or information field and the other one is the next field which points to the next node memory location so here the memory location of the next node will be placed so this is a pointer field which shows the memory location of the next node so now using this structure we are going to uh, apply the concept of stack so here a small example of a stack here you when you push initially it will be one when you push two it will be placed on top of this then three on top of this on top of two and so on you can see and six when it push it will be top when you are going to remove in the same way only you have to remove see this like that pop 6 pop 5 pop 4 and then pop 3 and so on so when you keep adding initially the top pointer will be pointing to the top of the stack because there is only one element and it points to that when you push to now the top pointer is pointing to this and so on so when you push 6 the top pointer will be that so using that top pointer only you will pop so after you pop the top pointer is pointing to 5 after you pop by the top pointer again is made to point to four and so on so using the top pointer you remove or add okay this is the logic of stack so now uh, we will be seeing how we are going to create a stack using the linked list so this is the structure which we are declaring which we are going to follow for the uh, stack so structure a node so this node is defined here with the uh, data type structure then t this is since template you can store any type of data whether it is an integer or a string or a character that is why we have given template so anyway this portion will be storing a data it is of type uh, whatever you are going to store so whether that character or string then the next one is a node again it points to the same structure so here it is a pointer and it points to the uh, node that is this is of the same type so the next node also will be a of the same type so that is for this represents now we declare a class called star and then inside we uh, declare this node and we have given the name top pointer which is of type node type then 
we declare a constructor where top is initially top is pointing to nothing okay top is pointing to nothing top equal to null now here we have the, we have defined uh, these are the member function is empty used to check whether any data is there if there is data only you can uh, remove so this will be used for checking if there is any data so then destroy stack this is used to destroy the whole tag how oh, then print stack but the values which are stored in that will be printed then push if you want to push any information then you will be passing say for example push one push two so you'll be calling with the data push one push two and all. pop means there is no need to call with the uh, data because the data will be popped from the stack then peak is used to print the top of the stack this is the uh, these are all the member functions associated with this class now here we are declare first we are writing explaining the functions that is empty if top is equal to null that means uh, the stack is not yet created the top pointer is only created and it is equal to null which means there is no node in that uh, so in that case top is equal to null then the stack is empty or else if you remove all the values also then you will be making the top equal to null so this indicates that if top is equal to null then the stack is empty so that uh, when you execute a pop you will be checking this is empty if there is any data only you can remove so in that case you will be using this then peak this is used to print the top of the element so how you can print always you know the top pointer is pointing to the top of the stack so you just print top data so if the top is pointing to this so for example the previous one if the top is pointing here if the point after insertion of 6, the top is pointing this, then top data is nothing but 6. So, you will be able to, always the top is made to point to the top. So, here you can print the value of the, uh, by using the top data. 